Niall Horn is here. The new album's called Flicker. We'll talk about that. It's out, and the music's going well. We love the stuff you're putting out. Congrats. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. How's it's life been, feeling? It's good, yeah. It's yeah. Um, obviously all very different, all very new, um, but really fun, you know. This kind yeah. of stuff is the stuff I grew up on, and um, with my own little twist on it. So it's been nice to be able to release it. And, and watch it do well obviously slow hands did <laughs> a lot better than i expected yeah. anyway i don't know about you guys but um i guess it stood out in the charts yeah. compared to whatever else is in it so um yeah it, it's been a, a crazy crazy year but this week is um it will be the test you know yeah yeah can i ask you a question about slow hands yeah and oh, i don't boy. know if this is going to be appropriate it's about the laundry yes this is about the laundry so i don't know the <laughs> lyric like sweat dripping down our dirty laundry yeah. so we talked about this on the show mm. and i had my own interpretation of it yeah but i want to know what that means well to be honest i don't really know oh. uh i know i was just like the, the music came first the lyrics were just shouting at each other across the room i guess what we were trying to say was you know when it gets like hot and steamy and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's all sweaty and all that kind of stuff. I guess that's what we were trying to get at, but the, the way we said it, it kind of didn't doesn't explain it very well. No, it um, explains it well. I uh, like yeah. it. Well, you Do you go. want to explain what you thought it was yeah. and how it you was, interpreted it? It was kind of like that, but it was like it's the end of the day. We've all uh -huh. been wearing the same outfits for the day. So sure. Dirty laundry by now. Okay. And uh, the sweat just dripping down the bodies. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so we're on the same page. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. It's Valentine in the morning. Niall Horn is here. It's Valentine in the morning. We're talking about the album that's out, Flickr. Um, give us the basic rundown of when you put this album together, what you were thinking, because I have an idea about a musical influence with you. And if I'm wrong, tell me, don't be like polite and go, no, you're totally off. No, go this, for it. Okay. Go All right. So I'll hit the musical influence first then. John Mayer. There is in there too, yeah. I um, hear a lot of John Mayer in some of your stuff. Well, a lot of this, a lot of stuff that I I grew up on is stuff that John would listen to with, too. I suppose. Okay, like the Eagles, Jackson Brown, yeah. Tom Petty, all that kind of stuff. I guess so that's where that we're all trying to create, recreate from. that right. in a way, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, that's I'll take that. That's one hundred percent. John's a great guy. Obviously, one of the best, uh, the best guitarists of our genera of my generation, anyway. Yeah. And um, and yeah, I, I'll take yeah. that all day long. I mean, he's yeah. He's good. I know. <laughs> He's been, I, I will say one thing about John Mayer. And I think if you're a John Mayer fan, you go to a concert, he's at the bowl. I did that years ago. He loves his guitar riffs, the solos. Mm -hmm. They can last 25 minutes. Well, as, as, a, as a music fan, yes. I think don't sing, just keep playing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair I, enough. Then. I love fair listening enough. to John Mayer play the guitar. It's unbelievable. Are you watching you know watching this album the the reviews and everything I'm pouring in is it a much different feeling than when it was a one direction album like mm. are you is it completely different inside yeah it, it's uh, in terms of re like releasing it yeah uh, just all the all the, anxiety, the emotions I that guess. he has yeah yeah, yeah it's a in a way yes and in a way no because releasing music in general especially with the way the, you know the charts are working these days and, yeah. and stuff like that it, it is tough especially with the kind of stuff that I'm making you know you can it either goes well because it stands out or it goes badly because it stands out sure. in the wrong way um, but yeah it's there's a, there's an anxiety like you know today I'm, I'm feeling it yeah. I want to know I kind of want it to be next Friday already yeah. if you know what I mean and find out what the year, last year and a half has done for me right. in terms of sitting in the studio. Well, I would assume there's a lot more pressure, obviously. That's the obvious thing when mm. it's one person putting something out. But within that too, and I, I'm sure you have a decent ego, not in a bad way, but you have to be confident in yourself to put yourself out there like that and everything. Um, I think you got to feel proud and feel really good that you got this project out there. Yeah, and I do. You know, I, I was thinking about, I was on the plane yesterday and I was thinking to myself, geez, I'm nervous for no reason. And then I was going in my head, well, this is like, really the reason I'm nervous is because this is the, probably the first time that I've put myself out there, pen and paper. Yeah, it's kind sure. of just kind of like sliding it across the table right. to someone that's For someone just, to take a look at it, yeah. right. And, um, and what this, if they slide it back? It's like, <laughs> don't slide it back. Don't slide it back. <laughs> uh, you want to make how much? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, this is the first time that I've done that. So there's obviously going to be nerves. Yeah. That I never really thought. It's like subconscious nerves that you wouldn't even think about. Yeah, you know, it's not like going and performing or something where you go, mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm a bit nervous." Got butterflies. This is kind of like I'm nervous because I'm doing something that I've never really done before. But the this success way. of this town and slow hands had to help a little bit, oh, right? 100 percent. Like, no, because yeah. but in a way, then people are waiting for the next, the rest of yeah. the album, mm -hmm. you know, to see if they if it's not just a two single album or a three right. single album with too much to ask. Sure. Or, um, and obviously, I'm going to say that it's not because I wouldn't have put these songs in the album if I didn't think sure. they were any good. Um, I probably wouldn't have released anything if I didn't think it was any good. 
But uh, yeah, hopefully now, fingers crossed, and see what happens. But yeah, I, I, I do, as you said, I do think this town slow hands, and hopefully too much to ask have helped. Sure. Yeah, let's play a song here. But what you said there a second ago, you said you wouldn't have released anything if you didn't think it was good. And and this, don't take this the wrong way, but you have reached a point in your career that, yes, we know that you could go, you know what, man? Great run with the fellas. Mm. I could sit back and do some writing for somebody else, do some studio work, do mm. whatever. I could put my feet up, I'd be okay. So this is a risk on your part. 100%, but... Yeah, I'm. I'm. First of all, I'm 24, so I'm. God, still, you're I'm, so young. Oh my I'm god, still, I'm still quite young. Yeah, uh, and also, I've had a love for music since I was, since as long as I can remember. So yeah. I'm not just gonna like put the feet up. Sh yeah, shut up shop. You're because, not retiring. No, yeah. I'm, I'm, 100. I'm, <laughs> I, no, I, 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 I like retirement on the air. So I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm just want to announce. I'm <laughs> yes. uh, no, I like everybody. In no matter what field of work you do, you're always yeah. looking for a bit of longevity. Sure. And that's what I, when I was writing this album, I'm thinking about. You know. A little bit, you know, in years to come, that I'd be still be able mm -hmm. to make a record off the back of making this one. Mm -hmm. um, so, fingers crossed. Let's play a game we call Pick the Hits. Jill, what song should we play from Nile? Oh, Slow Hands. You want to play that? Yes. That's pretty, especially with him here. Pretty easy one to pick the hits. The whole album's right in front of you, and you want to play that one? That's safe, right? <laughs> or you want to go something else? Um, I think Jill's leaning towards or, yeah. for a different yeah. reason. <laughs> that she, yeah, that song does something to her. <laughs> All right, here's slow hands. It's Valentine in the morning. It is Valentine in the morning. Niall Horns here in the studio. By the way, tickets to his Flickr World Tour on sale right now. Make mm. sure you get out those and buy those tickets. Please do. Uh, We'll be giving some away, of course, everything. A minute ago, he was maybe alluding to the fact that Ed Sheeran is lying about his broken arms. Oh. <laughs> no, yes. I'm Kevin, putting please. Words to this no, no, no. Who said that? this one? Pin him down, Kev. Go ahead. Pin him you, down. You, you said that. Have you talked to him since this happened? No, I, I haven't got the chance to speak to him. But I want to... I feel like he said, I broke my arm, and then the media just went, you also got knocked down, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, it's hard to... I don't know. Suspect, isn't it? Yeah. We all get a little suspect moment there with him. I reckon he just fell, out, fell off his bike and broke his arm. Yeah. Simple as that. And he yeah. can't any shows. be worried? I mean, he's, you know, he's such a... The pedals and the guitar is just up there by all by himself. Like, yeah. should he be worried long term about his guitar playing abilities or no? Ah, no, he'd be, okay. he'd be fine. Ignorance will prevail as well. Ed just he's one of those people that just can't put the guitar down, so it won't probably won't stop. He's right. probably playing right now with the cast on. Um, <laughs> That's like I, one to be honest, chord. I've been, I've been th thinking about it this morning. It's probably come at a good time for him. Yeah, because it feels like since he brought out the two songs in January, he hasn't stopped yeah. doing shows. Right, oh, right, right. Like you look every day. He needs a bit he, of a rest, doesn't? I he? feel like it's a good time because yeah. now, now he can take this break and then go and do them shows that he was meant to do in sure. Asia. Do you think maybe a manager pushed him down then to get him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you alleging that? The steward just went bang, bang <laughs> on the ground. Right. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? There's something I wanted to get to. Oh yeah, I saw this in in your notes here in the notes for your interview, and I don't know if it's true or not, but I kind of am the same way. Are you a little bit claustrophobic? Do yeah. you have that? Man, can, yeah. I wasn't like that so much as a kid, but I find myself more and more like that as an yeah. adult. It's weird. I I think I remember the time I I remember one scenario where I remember thinking I'm actually claustrophobic was I remember being like I'd say twelve. Okay. And the kids across the street had a had a like a bouncy castle for someone's oh, birthday. Yeah. And I get into it and the kid across the street was a lunatic. Mm -hmm. And he was about he was only about four or five and mm -hmm. he was just crazy. And I remember he, I was in the bouncy castle and he turned off the bouncy castle. Oh, no. Uh, at, the power, at the mains. No. So I'm inside this bouncy castle freaking out. And then that, that was the first time I remember being, eh. And it caved in around you and Even stuff. when I put like, you know, like people yeah. get too close and stuff. I'm like, ah. Uh. Yeah. And yeah, that is don't crazy. Get too close Where is this me. lunatic <laughs> now? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Why. <laughs> don't know? I think he's about 19 years old yeah. now. He's like, Ten foot tall. Is he a big guy? Yeah, he is. It is he a problem him. guy? Yeah, 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 he's been to jail. No, no, no. no. He has he? Been, no. <laughs> <laughs> is he a problem? Well, he's we have a surprise time. for you. Come, Come on, on in. in there, problem child. Oh my God, he is tall. Look at him. So then, what do you do if you're experiencing that? Are you on a plane or? Yeah, sometimes you're getting on planes. Like you know the way it's like you're in a tube for right. eleven yeah. hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't. Well, sometimes I just have to get up and walk around, whatever. Right. I mean, what about being heavily. in a car mobbed by fans? I'm sure that's happened to you guys. Oh, over that's the years. true. Yeah, sometimes that can be. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever. You know, right, I get over it. Do you sure. do you, um, when you decide to play venues? Do you ask them to be open air venues only? <laughs> like you'd like to play the Rose Bowl versus like a theater that's closed in or something? I don't, I don't know. I don't mind that. Oh, um, that's okay. Well, all, all of next summer, I've looked at the the list of venues yeah. that I'm playing, and a lot of them are outdoors. So <laughs> good for you. <laughs> it suits me down to the ground. Yeah, you're perfect with that. Perfect when we get to Texas and it's like a billion degrees in the middle of July. Oh, it's so know? hot, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And do you like traveling around America, seeing all different parts of our country and stuff? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I love. It's the only, it's probably the only place, and mainland Europe, but yeah. it's the only place where you feel like you're actually touring. Mm -hmm. You know, you get on a, you do a show, 
you get off the stage, you get on a bus, you drive for 15 hours and you mm-hmm. end up in yeah. four states later or whatever. So yeah. it's, I, I kind of like... It's pretty amazing. Like I, it's, it's massive. This place. Is there a place, when I think of like Sheeran's castle on the hill, I picture him on that hillside with yeah. that castle back as a kid or something like that. Is there a place you can snap your fingers and go there in this world that means something so much to you that has a memory of your childhood? It's a good question, that. Um, Take your time. There's no rush on this. I always liked... Um, there's a, a strand of water in on the west coast of Ireland in Galway called Salt Hill. Yeah, it's just been bashed by a that a li- the Ophelia, yeah. right? Yeah, but it, it's oh, I used to love it down there. And people like speak uh, Irish language, speak Gaelic. Yeah, like uh, my my surname comes from a little town next to it called Spiddle. Okay, which is very random, but uh, they they don't they don't speak they don't really speak English there. I kind of like that. Yeah. You know, Go. It's only like an hour and a half of where, right. from where I'm from, but they don't really speak. Is it near the Aran Islands or is it? Yeah, it would be, yeah. It is, okay. Not yeah, too yeah. far away, yeah. And how good is your Gaelic? Now, I can't critique you, so don't worry about that. No, it's not. It's not. I, like, I was all right at it at school. I ter- when it comes to languages, apparently I'm just better at writing them down. Yeah. Like, I'm good at, I was good at French, but I was good at writing it, not speaking it. Not speaking mm. it, okay. And same with Irish, to be honest. It's, oh, kind of, it's okay. one of those things that, like, I wish I had it done more of. Yeah. Because sc- when you're in school, everything's just a pain, isn't it? You're just yeah. like, I hate this, I hate that. Blah, blah, blah. But like, and everyone you hear people trying to get rid of the Irish language out of like the cur- school curriculum, sure. and, and we don't need it, and blah blah blah. blah. But I kind of wish I had it more of it. I thought there's been a bit of a resurgence. We're talking about the language they speak in Ireland, where Niall is from. I thought there was a resurgence in recent years to teach the kids that language. Yeah, Not well, so it's a, it's compulsory in school. It is yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like learning English. Okay, or maths. Yeah, it's one of, it's one of our it's one of our things. Not really known as the most romantic language, like you said, you learned French before and mm. stuff. But if we could, to kind of wrap up the interview here, if you can look towards Jill, oh uh, she's engaged, so we'll leave it at that. <laughs> but if you could give her any Irish you want, any Gaelic, with the most romance you could drip from that language, okay. you can sing the national anthem for all she cares. She doesn't know. Mm-mm. Pog Mahone. Oh, you did not. You did not. You did not. I'm joking. Just joking. Say that. What does, what does that it mean? mean? It means, oh. it means kiss my ass. But. Yes, <laughs> does. I'm joking. My I'm father, joking. God rest his soul, would say Pog Mahone to me all the time. I know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he'd say that and he'd say, go suck a zoob. What's yeah, a zoob? The cough drops. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tagralum ditch would mean I, lo- I love you. But mm. I don't know. You, you were looking at me, but you looked right in Kevin. I love you too. Niall Horn, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.